Um, there's one I always come back to. Now that I think about it, I don't actually know what her speech is about again. But I think one of the messages is like she's a psychologist and she likes to. Um, she she had this urge, I don't know, coming from where, that she always wants to measure everything. And then she realizes like the one driving force behind people, what makes people happy, is actually not, you cannot measure it. Um, because it's, I think, a sense of self, worth, self-love, and then all the activities that, that come from that and that help people value their own lives and therefore also other people's lives. And I think that was very beautiful to watch because she ta- tells us about her own struggle and how she got there and is now going into that. I, I think it's especially the, those TED Talks by, by either the, the really young people or the, the sort of uh, the older generation because I, I've just seen a TED, of, a TED talk of, uh, I guess it was Diane Can, Cantu from TU Vienna, mm-hmm. uh, who was here last year. And uh, I watched it today, actually, as a preparation for my own TED talk. And it was really great. And I was really amazed about how much motivation and how much euphoria people can not just put in, in their projects, but put in a sort of medial approach to really distribute and share their ideas. and and issue a fundamental critique through that way. And I was really impressed. I, I, I wish uh, more students would have that. And I think through TED, more students can have that and can take part in, and can learn that they themselves can take action. Well, you know, because I'm such an architectural specialist, I have generally watched the architectural ones. And in recent years, um, you know, I've watched t- TED Talks by Bianca Engels from Big. Alejandro Aravena, um, one or two that Josh recommended. Um, some of the TEDx, the TEDx Vienna from last year, Pedro Gadano, who I worked with as a co-curator. Um, the Brendan, Brendan from last year, mm-hmm. the photographer. That was going underground. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Actually, they're, they're, they're all men, but I have watched quite a lot of women speakers too, doing different things. I mean, some of the other ones I've watched just maybe spontaneously um, have been p- very particular themes, um, just kind of unexpected ideas that they explore in great detail and tell you a, a, an anecdote about it, rather than um, the ones I mentioned before, which are to do with uh, people talking about their work, which is inher- inherently innovative. Uh, I really was uh, big in love with the TED talk from Conchita Wurst. She did right after her winning, and it was, of course, in Vienna. And I think uh, because I knew she didn't have that much time to prepare anything great, uh, what, what she was talking to really came from her inside. It was very natural talk and I think it was a very inspiring talk. I really loved that one.